Hey guys, it's Mohammed Ali from Week My Day, and this is Talha, of course, as you know. And today we're going to talk about the new Samsung Galaxy A7 2017. So we've been waiting for this device for over two months now, ever since mm-hmm. the launch event. Yes. And uh, we've been pretty excited about using this phone. Yeah. And uh, now, now we finally had a chance to uh, talk about this. So what do you think about <laughs> the new <laughs> phone? <laughs> I think it's a very good device. Like all other Samsung devices, and especially the A series, mm-hmm. and we've used uh, you know we uh, did the review for the uh, Samsung Galaxy J1 yeah, Prime. <laughs> no, <laughs> Samsung A A five A seven two thousand sixteen, and it was also a very good phone. And I think that this phone is definitely going to the right direction. A two thousand sixteen, he means. Mm-hmm. And yeah, one more thing uh, is that this uh, the display that never you know dims. What do you call it? This display. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's called always on display. <laughs> yeah. Think okay. Okay, so what do you think about the build quality of this phone? Okay, so like the Galaxy S7 yes. and the new Galaxy S8 yes. and the Note 7, yes. this phone also has a glass uh, construction. Mm. So glass on the back and glass on the front, yeah. which is housed in a metal casing. So yeah. as far as build quality goes, it's just as amazing as yeah, those. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. In the, uh, I've, I've used it. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. It's a very discreet looking device, which I think mm-hmm. is amazing. Yeah. In its own in its own way, right? Yeah, it's not too much in your face, which mm. you can't really say about Samsung because Samsung usually makes things which are in your face. Yeah, exactly. With right? the uh, huge Samsung logo. Yeah, uh, and on both sides. I mean, this it also has this logo, but it's not that you know much visible. Yeah, it's not. And it's, plus, with the Galaxy S8, they have completely got rid yeah, of the logo. Yeah, they got rid of the logo. Yeah. which is great. But this is not the S8 review, so. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the build quality is pretty fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and mm-hmm. the, and the thing that they focus on in the advertisement of the phone mm-hmm. is the IP68 water uh, resistance and dust resistance. Yes, and dust yeah. resistance. So it is it is an it is an incredible feat of engineering. Yeah, exactly. That they have Definitely. the IP68 approval. Yeah, and they have not cut down anything. I mean, yeah. they have the headphone jack. For example, in the yeah. uh, iPhone, yes, Apple re- said that they removed the headphone jack yeah. to make the phone water resistant. And, and it's still IP67. Yeah, and even then IP68. it's IP67. Yeah, it's one step below. It, it's it's not a huge difference, but it's still it's pretty. I think good it's a that. great difference. I mean, they're not compromising anything. Like yeah, Apple they're not did. compromising yes. anything. You still have a headphone jack. I water tested this phone. Yes. And it, I was very scared. My heart was like, yeah, because oh my it's not God. our device. And what if what if it, it, uh, what if it stops working? Yeah. And then of course we will have to pay from our own pocket. Yes. And honestly speaking, and we have if no we pockets. had that kind of money, we would buy ourselves new phones. And we have no pockets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. So uh, what we're trying to say is the build quality is pretty fantastic. It mm-hmm. it can't go anywhere better from here. Okay, so from the build quality, let's move on to the display of the phone, mm-hmm. which is a five point seven inches FHD, FHD AMOLED, display. AMOLED display. Super AMOLED display. Super AMOLED display. Super AMOLED display. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's a super a, duper AMOLED Google mm, Blue. Yeah. Right. Okay, so this is uh, the display is almost as big as the Note Seven's display. Five point seven inch. Five point seven inch. However, mm-hmm. the main difference here is that in that phone, the display was a 2K yeah. display, and here it's 1080p. But yeah. uh, I didn't notice uh, much uh, difference, especially because it's an AMOLED display. Yeah, exactly. And we yeah. love uh, AMOLED displays. The depth is pretty much the same. Mm. And I think that, uh, <clears throat> well, I think as we we always talk about this thing, we love AMOLED yes. displays. Uh, Even if you see uh, in our previous videos, we are always saying that. The yeah. display is good, but uh, we kind of wish it was AMOLED. Well, here in this phone, it's actually AMOLED. Yes. <laughs> so that was that that yeah. is incredible. Okay, That's so true. the advantages. Uh, mm. So the advantages you get over AM- normal display versus AMOLED display is that the colors are more saturated. Yeah. You know, it pops out a bit more. Mm. You know, as which uh, which is what I like. Yeah, uh, I, and me too. Another thing is that it doesn't. Uh, it it is more battery efficient. Mm-hmm. Like right uh, now, the the phone is on uh, always on display. Yeah. If it wasn't, if uh, if it was an LCD display, the battery would have been pretty much uh, ended yes, by because now. Because all the pixels are you know. Yeah. You light up. An AMOLED the, display, yeah. the, the, only the pixels which are not uh, which are not black are light lighting up. Yes. So you can see that uh, only a small portion of the display is actually being yes. used, and so it's not sipping much battery. So, speaking of the processor. It's a, it's a very uh, it's not really mid range processor. Yeah. It's really uh, a bit above mid range, but it's not as good as the flagship processor. 
So yeah. it's right there in the middle of those yeah. two. I mean, you can know that by because of uh, the numbering this, system. Yeah. The, this, uh, the S, uh, S7 has, and S8 has 8890 and, and 8895. And uh, this one has 78880. So there's yeah. not a. Not 78880. 7880. Yeah, that's what I was trying to. Okay, so. Uh, this so overall as far as performance goes the performance is good yes no there's not much lag there is a little bit of lag but uh, it's yes. not uh, uh, I was not very happy with that lag because this is a new device and we don't expect lags from Samsung it, it's not as much lag yeah but there is still a, there is I mean it's not that noticeable for a normal person but being reviewers yeah, if, if you really look for it you can find it yes and uh, that's what we do yeah we, we look for things <laughs> okay so that's uh, also my issue with the performance. Mm. Sort of with the performance is statuous. Yeah. You know, I think we uh, like this is Grace UI. Yeah, Grace no? UI. Yeah. Uh, Grace UI, statuous, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah. Anyways, the in the S7, uh, the last time we used a high-end flagship Samsung was uh, the Samsung S7. Yeah. You know, and there we said that statuous were quite bearable now. However, yes. since <laughs> then, uh, however, since yeah. then. The uh, Huawei has improved their skin EMUI almost almost completely re redesigned, mm. and uh, Android Nougat has come out. So this statue is seems pretty outdated. I'm actually quite frustrated with this uh, uh, mm -hmm. so yeah. operating system of this device, which was also my complaint last year. Considering the fact that the build quality is so amazing, yeah, the really software kind of lets yes, it down. Uh, yes, exactly. I think it, it, it doesn't match the same level. Yeah, you know, you, you don't want the same kind of. Uh, you don't want the same kind of uh, actions. No. You know you don't want the same kind of uh, performance as you see by Apple. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these people, man? Okay, I think. You know, I remember. I mean, we all know that uh, and Apple had the same interface for so long. Even now. Yeah, it's not a lot. Of, uh, there's not a lot of changes. I think that Samsung uh, TouchWiz is uh, due a uh, big overhaul. Let's change everything. God damn it. Let's change everything. Make everything look better. better than that, Make everything look better, Samsung. So speaking of the things that I don't like about this phone, yeah. so the second thing that I don't like is the speaker. Yeah, uh, it's really oddly placed. Yeah, it's placed on the side. Yeah, above and, the power uh, button. Yeah, and I think- It's really small. And I think because <coughs> of the water, uh, water resistance, it gets muffled a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it doesn't produce a lot of sound. It's it's pretty mediocre. Yeah, you know, it's okay. Maybe it's, it's because they had to make it water resistant, and they had to you know do some extra yeah, precautions. The covering, the covering at the speaker gill does yeah. make it uh, sound a bit less. You know? But I think it's bearable. I mean, it's, it's bearable. Yeah. It's water resistant. Yeah. So if you <clears> if you if I was a uh, uh, if I was asking for a better speaker or water resistance, I would go for water resistance. No. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because these, I don't think people use this, uh, the speakers speaker as well. much. But still, you yeah. know. Anyway, so that's another thing that I didn't like about this phone. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to talking about the camera. One which... more thing: uh, the fingerprint sensor is not very responsive. Mm, yes. I mean, I, I am actually kind of, I'm really disappointed. disappointed. Really disappointed. I never say this. I, I have used previous uh, Samsung devices. And I've, I've never had this much problem. I mean, it does not even recognize your uh, fingerprint. Mm. I mean, we've used Huawei sensors and they're so quick. Those are amazing. They're amazingly quick. Yeah, or, and it mm -hmm. also has to do with the placement of the fingerprint yes, sensor. Yes. Uh, but the, we, we are used to having fingerprint sensors on the back. Yes. Yeah, because it's more, uh, I think, when you hold the device, I think... Now your finger naturally goes to that position. Yes, and right? you, know, you, you know, you're placing your thumb like this. It's yeah. really uh, not there, that amazing. Uh, uh, another, th another contributing factor is that we haven't used much many phones with a home button at the front. Either mm -hmm. we have used the capacitor buttons yeah, or, no, no phones bar, with, yeah. or phones with <clears throat> on-screen buttons. Yes. So it it's, it feels incredibly awkward when we have to put our finger like, yes. you know, this. But the, most uh, people who are, uh, you know, they, they have been uh, using Samsung phones for a long time. It's okay. Right. But I think it's, I think they should definitely, uh, you know, release an update to make it more responsive. Yeah. It's so, pathetic. I mean, I'm sorry to say this, but it's... Not the finger sensor needs an improvement. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to talking about the camera of yeah. the phone, which is fantastic. Yes, I believe. Uh, one uh, one thing that I didn't like of the camera was that it doesn't ha have auto image stabilization. Yeah. Which means that if you really, you know wanna <coughs> take a picture, it's kind of like a haze. You have to really yeah. keep your hands steady. 
Yes. Okay. Right. So I remember I was taking my selfie and I I got the best results in the third try. Hmm. Oh, so, uh, mm. but the, apart from that, the processing mm. and the image quality <coughs> is really yes. really good. It has yeah. 16 G. Yeah. Uh, the front camera is also 16 megapixels. Yes. So that's, that's, that's something yeah. really new. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because. In most phones, the, the front facing camera is pretty much an afterthought. Yeah, and it's like, less. Uh, even though front facing camera is used more than the back facing camera, usually with yes. the with these you know selfie kids, people, teens, teens these yes. days, we, we we wouldn't know much. We are just old people. Yeah, right? or we're too young. Yeah, so something like that. So that's a that's a so I I, I like using the back camera. Mm-hmm. I didn't much mess around with the front camera because I mm-hmm. don't I and I actually don't yeah. uh, use the front camera a lot. But the back camera took some amazing photos which you are seeing right now. The yes. colors the colors yes. look amazing that's and true. the contrast looks. Yeah, uh, it's also very good uh, in a darker place. Yeah, the low light performance yeah. is also pretty good. Low light performance for all smartphones, Samsung phones. It's, it's always really good. been good. It's always I mean, been good, yes. when you look at other phones and uh, comparisons, mm. we definitely always find that every reviewer has uh, this um, decision yep. at the end that the low uh, level of uh, image processing yeah. is really good. <clears throat> okay, so that's uh, the camera. Mm-hmm. So let's move on to talking about the battery and mm-hmm. our overall thoughts about this phone. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, so what so about the, the battery? The phone has a 3500 power battery. That's pretty good. Which is the same uh, amount of battery as the S7, S8 mm-hmm. Plus. Okay. So oh. if uh, there's any indication to how good the battery life yes. will be in that phone, it's this. The battery life on this phone is pretty, pretty good. Yes. I mean, considering the fact that S8 Plus is larger. La- larger than <coughs> has a higher resolution display. So yes. let's see how much that effect has on that phone. But I don't know. in this phone, the battery life is <coughs> pristine. It's good. Mm. Uh, I usually I I've been using always on display. I use the Wi-Fi on. Uh, the Wi-Fi is always on. Mm. You know I I'm always messing around with this. The location phone. is on mostly. Yeah, and still still it has around forty to fifty percent battery at the end of the day, yeah. which is a great uh, accomplishment. Also, the phone has quick charging, so and USB Type C. You know how much crazy I am about USB Type C. Yeah. You would know that if you have watched our previous videos. Which but you probably yeah. haven't. All right, so mm-hmm. it's okay. Mm-hmm. No hard feelings, except yeah, little, yeah, yeah. except yeah. except a little hard feeling. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. because of the because of USB Type C, you you can plug it reversible. You can yeah, it's reversible. It yeah, it doesn't matter. You can you plug, stick it in. You can plug it backwards, <coughs> which is pretty good. And the you know charging speed is also pretty not good. Yeah, it's it fast charging. Fast charger, yeah. Right. If you can charge it for the like thirty minutes, it will give you around sixty to sixty five percent battery. Yeah. If you charge for. And right. that sums up the battery. Yeah. So. So let's talk about our overall impressions about this phone. Hmm. And I I love this phone, but uh, I just wish that the Sam the uh, uh, opera- touch base was better, and the speaker was better. And the finger processor was better. better. Apart from, I, I don't really uh, mind the speaker. I can live with uh, with the speaker. Yeah. But the operating system, but the touch the look, the, the look of touch and mm-hmm. the finger they they have to remove. They have to uh, yes improve there those has things. to be some improvements. Right. So what do you think about? What are your overall impressions? I think uh, I would agree with you in all on all points. Mm. I hope there is optical image separation in the A7 2018, which would be <laughs> great. Right. Yeah. All right. So, but if you're just a normal user, if you're a businessman or just a casual uh, yeah. person, I don't think you would mind those things. I think that you, for that, from that perspective, you're gonna think the device is pretty freaking fantastic, right? Yeah. For, but the, because we are nerds and we like to pretty much go in detail about everything, you yeah. know, these little things sort of uh, end up bothering bothering us. Yeah. And he's talking about himself. I'm not a nerd. Please, if you like this video, please share. Yeah. Please subscribe. subscribe. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll Thank you see for you. watching. We'll see you in the next video. You'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video. You'll see you in the next video. Alright. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye.